This video is about type 2 improper integrals. These are integrals for which the interval that we're integrating over is finite, but the function that we're integrating goes to infinity on that interval. To integrate a type 2 improper integral, like this one or this one, we integrate our function over larger and larger subintervals on which the function is finite. And then we take a limit. So in this first picture, where the function approaches infinity as x goes to b from the left, we can call that moving endpoint t and evaluate the integral as the limit as that right endpoint t approaches b from the left of the integral from a to t of f of x dx. The same definition works if f of x is going to negative infinity instead of infinity. In the second picture here, we again want to take a limit of integrals over subintervals on which the function is finite. So in symbols, that says that if f goes to infinity or negative infinity, as x goes to a from the positive side, then the integral from a to b of f of x dx is going to be the limit as t goes to a from the right of the integral from t to b of f of x dx. As an example, let's find the area under the curve y equals x over the square root of x squared minus 1 between the lines of x equals 1 and x equals 2. That area can be described as the integral from 1 to 2 of our function, but this is an improper integral because the function is going to infinity as x goes to 1 from the right. So we'll evaluate it by taking the limit as t goes to 1 from the right of the integral from t to 2 of the function. I'll compute this integral using u substitution, where u is x squared minus 1 and du is 2x dx. Since I see an x dx in my integrand here, I'll solve for x dx, and I get x dx is equal to 1 half du. I'm also going to change my bounds of integration. When x is equal to t, that means u is equal to t squared minus 1, and when x is equal to 2, u is 2 squared minus 1, that's 3. So I'll rewrite my integral x dx is the same thing as 1 half du, and my square root of x squared minus 1 becomes a square root of u in the denominator. I'll rewrite again by pulling the 1 half out of the integral and rewriting the square root of u in the denominator as u to the negative 1 half. Now I can integrate. I get 2 times u to the 1 half evaluated between 3 and t squared minus 1. My 1 half and 2 cancel, and I'll plug in my bounds of integration here. Now as t goes to 1 from the right, t squared is also going to 1, so t squared minus 1 is going to 0. Therefore, my limit is just 3 to the 1 half, or square root of 3, and that's the area underneath my curve. This video was about type 2 improper integrals and how to compute them as the limit of integrals over larger and larger subintervals on which the function is finite.